Welcome to The Drift. I'm your host, Sierra Goodwill. New England is all about its rich boat building tradition. Today, John Methia spends some time at South Shore and finds out what it takes to give a vintage wooden runabout a new life. Bob, you never know what's going to roll into South Shore <laughs> Boat Works, right? You never know, it's for sure. It's a, it's a white runabout. It is. About 1960-ish? It was built in 1960, and this, so this was built by the uh, white manufacturing, a white canoe company. These boats have become heirlooms. It's some of the wooden boats, some of the classic boats, handed down from generation to generation. And oftentimes they have found like this in a barn or in an old boathouse. What do you do with it? Well, in this case, we, had to, we have to evaluate it. It's, mm -hmm. We're still, still doing that. With any boat of age, uh, they start having problems. The okay. ribs, these boats have ribs inside the, the planking. This is a lab straight planking here, but there's ribs inside of it. And it, they almost always have at least one or two broken ribs. Okay. And so we're gonna evaluate that. We're also gonna evaluate it for, see if there's any, any problems with rot. Uh, now, years back, I had a friend who had an old Chris Craft. And I thought about getting a mahogany boat. I love that look. Like, I love that classic design. I've always loved classic boats. His quote to me was, wooden boats, and I remember this like it was yesterday, they're a lot of work. They're a lot of work. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, I look at it as being a labor of love. Right. It, it takes maintenance, and if, as long as you keep up with it, right. uh, you keep up, you stay ahead of any problems, it'll last forever. Is the intent to get this boat rolling down the river or just or fully restored uh, this is i'd say it's in between that it's okay. more of uh a i don't little patina I, yeah little, right? you don't want to take away from the patina or mm -hmm. the character of the boat uh and if you i mean there, there are some people that do restorations and they're asked to take it right down to maybe just yeah. using one plank that's that's right. original. Well, you're building a new boat when that happens. You, you're not really restoring the old boat and right? you're taking away some of that character yeah this is a piece of furniture this is, this, is, this is a piece of art, if you ask me. And there's one thing that jumped out. I want to show it to you. Sure. Really, this jumped out at me. I hope you can keep this piece because Petit Bateau is the name of the boat, but that patina, that, the artistry of this, this hand-painted boat name is, is amazing. Do you, would you save that or would you refinish it and have it redone? Well, the goal would be to save it. Uh, it is together. There's nothing, nothing broken here. So I'm not French, but this is a small boat? Small boat, yeah. Beautiful. Love it. And, uh, but you're, you're right. I mean, there's always something that defines uh, these small boats. It's, mm -hmm. it's always something that really stands out. And in this case, you know, there's still quite a few runabouts around. Right. But there is no other petite bateau. So what's the process? You pull it apart, you pull this interior out, each board, each piece gets refinished? Either refinished, and, and if things can't be refinished, then we have to duplicate the part. It still has the tag in there, mm -hmm. uh, which it's good to see because some, you know, lots of times, that, you know, I'm not when, sure when, what that other tag is. I don't know if that's a, uh, some kind of a St. Christopher medal or maybe a boat blessing medal or something <laughs> or, an, or, or, a, or a boat show award or something there on the dash. It doesn't look quite uh, original. No, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, I really feel as though uh, having a St. Christopher medal is not a bad thing in a boat. Right. Well, you know, you, and you have to check with the owner on that, right? Because that's something you could say, well, we took this medal thing. Yeah, we threw that out. No, that was my great grandfather's St. Christopher medal and he put it in the boat, uh, you know, 90 years ago. Well, this is good stuff, Bob. We look forward to following the progress on this. But it's a beautiful boat and it's going to be even more beautiful when you're done with it, I'm sure. Well, thanks. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Nice stuff. We'll be following that restoration process as that classic white comes back to life. As always, you'll find more boat build at driftsociably.com and on all our social platforms at Drift Sociably. Presented by Sociable, original social media programming.